All right, welcome back to the channel and the build of my bat van. Uh, today we're going to hang the doors on the cabinets, and uh, this time we're going to install the doors with the cabinets installed. So the first uh, cabinets that you saw me make, I installed the doors on the outside, which made it relatively simple. Uh, this time we're going to try to hang them on the inside uh, while the cabinets are up, and well, wish me luck. So that's what our plan is. So we need to get the doors prepped and uh, we've got to get them laminated and all that stuff, holes drilled and everything so we can get set up and install these. So let's take care of that right now. Now that we've got everything set up, I've got a little table set in here. I've got the tools that I think I'm going to need to uh, get these installed. Got the Blum hinges uh, ready to go. Well, they're still in the package. We'll get those out. Got my tape, pencils, straight edges, drills, and uh, well, cabinet doors themselves, and a little flashlight so we can uh, see up here, make sure that we get our holes in the right spot. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is go ahead and put some tape on the doors here, take a few measurements, see where my uh, location marks are going to be. Then we'll install the hinges onto the doors themselves. Then we'll get things set in place, mark for the holes, get those installed, and then the doors will be up. Then we will need to install the struts, and then the last thing is the latches. So let's go ahead and uh, get some tape going. Drop a few measurements, install those hinges, and get them up. All right, so first off, yeah, lighting's a little bit bright in here. Uh, but once we get the doors up and we can close things off, you won't see that as much. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of tape up here. do it. So my doors are about one inch wider than the openings so we're just going to come over half inch on each edge here and we'll make a line and that'll give us a good place to locate our uh, doors once we get them centered up here and the uh, <laughs> hinges on. So I'm ad-libbing this. I don't have a script so uh, bear with me. All right so let me uh, take some measurements get some lines drawn and then uh, we'll get these ha uh, hinges installed on these doors.
All right, now we're ready to install the first one. So we're gonna, let me just test fit it here. Perfect. All right. <coughs> now, with any luck, <coughs> we can get our screws in there. So. Okay. One partially in. All right, so I loosened up the screws, slid everything over a little bit so we can uh, get somewhat lined up on our marks. We still have to adjust it left and right, up and down just a little bit, but for the most part, I think it's, uh, it is almost there. So we're just right on the line up here, a little bit off here, so it needs to tilt this way. So let's go ahead and get the second one installed the same way. Then we'll come back and uh, worry about our struts. So I'm going to do that one off camera because you already seen how I did this one. So let me do that one. Be right back. Now I have to say that second one went much easier. So it's uh, it goes a little bit better if you're not watching me. <laughs> a lot of pressure, you know, and people are checking me out. So. Anyway, I got that one hung, and that one is dang near on our mark. So that one's good. It looks really good under here. This one here just needs a slight adjustment, and I think I'm good to go. So I can peel that tape off, I think, and just line everything up by eye. And uh, the doors are pretty filthy. They got a lot of dust on them. I need to clean clean things up, clean the edges. So. Let me go ahead and get that tape off and then we'll worry about the uh, struts now. Alright, it's a new day and it's a little chillier so I had to put on a sweatshirt. Okay, so now we're going to install our struts. And to do that, we've got our little bat rang here, our 90 degree. And uh, we're going to set that in place. This is a handy little tool when you're working by yourself and clamp there we go just like so uh, what I need to do is put some tape here and here um, make a couple of marks take a few measurements figure out exactly where I want uh, our first post right here and then we can work on the bottom section so let me get some tape up here and uh, start making some marks We'll get the struts on. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is put some tape here on this edge on both sides. And what we'll do is uh, we're just going to make a mark alongside the cabinet. And then we're just going to measure that distance from here over to our line, add about a sixteenth or an eighth, come up here and uh, make that same measurement over here, and that'll tell us. Uh, where the edge of our post will be so when we close it we're not going to hit the uh, cabinet face so got that one and then we'll mark this one all right now we'll take some measurements here should be a half inch but uh, things line up a little different so we're going to go ahead and uh, measure that measure over make our lines on our cabinet doors and then figure out where our post is going to be all right, so we're sitting at about nine sixteenths. 
<clears throat> so we're going to come over about five eighths, maybe just a hair more, and uh, draw our line, and then we'll find the center of our post. We'll go ahead and get those mounted. All right, so from our instructions for our struts, to find the center of our pin here. It tells us we need to be uh, two and three quarter inches from the center of our hinge to the center of our pin. And I've already determined that the center of my hinge is about three eighths of an inch. So three eighths, two and three quarters, uh, gives me about a three and an eighth inch. So I'm gonna measure up three, three and one eighth inch. That'll be my center line for my pin. So when I get that installed, the center of that pin should be lined up on that mark. So let me go ahead and get that measured and we'll mark for our holes, get those drilled and we can set that first pin. Let me do that. First hole, put it right in that center. And a second. And peel off our tape. Take our clamp off here and see if our door closes. And if it does touch just a hair, we can still bend that just a just a touch. Oh, we are right on the money. All right, so that one's up. Now we can uh, concentrate on the bottom part. But let me go ahead and install the other one on this cabinet, and then we'll worry about getting the uh, bottom pieces on. All right, now we're ready to install the struts, so pull these pins up a little bit so we can snap those on. And we can lock that one in place. And then our bottom one. Now if you remember, on the last cabinets I installed, I had to grind these back, so instead of a full circle, because when I set this on here, I still want to make sure that uh, my bottom lids open and close. So we're going to go ahead and put that one on. And then we'll just set that in place. And then we'll mark for one hole. Alright, so... We'll go ahead and drill and get that one in, and then we'll drill and put the uh, screw in the top one. And now we can pop that on, pin it in place, and Take our clamp off, boom, just like so. Oh, that's always a good feeling when things work. All right, got one more to do. All right, so the last thing that we want to do is open all the cabinets, and I just want to make sure that when it opens, it is at the same same level as the uh, rest of them. So this one here just sits a little higher. So all I have to do is loosen these screws, slide this forward a little bit until this drops down, and then uh, they'll all be lined up. So let me do that, 
and then uh, we can worry about the latches. All right, so we are nearly finished. Uh, gas struts are on. Things are lining up. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. So now the next thing we have to do is install our latches and uh, try to figure out where they should be on here. So I have a little plan and we'll see if it works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get the latches. We'll go ahead and install those in place here and then we'll worry about the second part on the door themselves and hopefully I can get them lined up uh, just like the other ones. So when I close it, uh, it lines up because when, yeah, once you drill the holes for those, the only thing to do is move everything around. We don't want to do that. We want to get it right the first time. So let me get set up for that and then we'll do it. All right, so to uh, install my latches here, I uh, put a piece of tape down and between the face here, just found a center line. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to get close. And then I set my latch in place and set it back from the edge a little bit. And then I made a couple of marks. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pre-drill those. And then we'll get the latch in place. We'll do that on both sides. And then we can worry about the, uh, the catch and hopefully get it lined up where it needs to be. So let me go ahead and pre-drill those and get that one installed. sits back away from the edge a little bit. All right, now, now we've got to find the uh, center for here. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape up here on both pieces, and then I'm gonna try a little trick, see if I can't line up these holes. So let me get things set up and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so here is what I am doing. So I've got my piece set in here. I've got a piece of tape under it to give it just a little bit of space here and uh, set that in. That's where I want it. Then up here, I put a piece, a couple pieces of tape and I'm using butyl tape. And uh, hopefully that's soft enough. I'm gonna put a little bit of like baby powder on here to keep things from sticking. And then I'm gonna close the door and push it in pretty hard. And hopefully I can make a couple of dimples where I can see here and well, we'll drill the holes attach it and see if it lines up. All right. All right, well, if anything, it'll smell nice. Okay, so let's give it a, let's give it a try. I think that's gonna work. So, let me give you a shot what I did. All right, so I got two little dimples here that I can uh, now uh, put a drill in and then we shall see if it lines up. We'll go ahead and fasten this one before we do the other one just to make sure it worked. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, all right, so let me drill those, attach it, and give it a try. Let's see. 
Oh yeah. Perfect. All right. So that little trick worked. And it looks straight and everything, so oh yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's do the other one. Get it out of the way. All right, to install my handles, I'm just going to measure the door here and uh, figure out somewhat of a center. Put a piece of tape. Make a little mark. Perfect. Measure up one and three quarters of an inch. Alright, I did the same back here on the first cabinet and this one, and just to make sure. Yeah. Alright, and then we'll take and make a pilot hole. On both cabinets. Switch out our bit. And then come from the back side here. from both sides will eliminate tear out so that's the idea then we can take our tape off Works like a charm. Let's get that other one on. And it looks square to the world. All right. All right, that's the last of our upper cabinets. And, uh, Pretty happy with the way that they turned out. They look good and uh, yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is clean these up and give a shout out to a couple of guys. Kind of helped me out on my cabinet doors. Uh, so the old dog still can learn new tricks. And I'll tell you what that is here in just a second. So let me grab some stuff, clean these up, and then uh, we'll finish. All right, so our cabinets are all cleaned up. They look, <laughs> they look very nice, and uh, yeah, pretty happy with the way that they turned out, and function just right. So uh, a shout out to Bruce Anthony and Michael Cunningham. They suggested putting the banding on before I put the face on for the Formica, and I got to tell you, that did the trick. Uh, after completing these two. It makes me want to do the other six. I may 
sometime in the future redo those because I don't like the the white outline and hey I didn't know any better so uh, I do now and I'm liking it actually I'm loving it all right so we have our cabinets complete and for this cabinet here I will probably put in uh, something here in the back just to cover that metal although it's not a big deal nobody's really gonna see it and it should be covered up by a bunch of food or something so probably these will be the pantry area then we'll have clothing storage and then we may do some uh, kitchen accessories uh, on this front cabinet here on the uh, passenger side all right so I think in the meantime what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get all the lights for under the counters get those all wired in run the wiring out the back and get it down to our electrical area and take care of that so it's done before I get any farther and then uh, I still haven't got the layout figured out here I know what I want to do on the passenger side but the uh, driver's side not quite sure I have an idea I just got to think it through so uh, all right thanks for watching this video thanks for all uh, watching the other videos and the comments I pick up a lot from uh, good tips and uh, all the compliments and everything that's much appreciated and you guys are uh, very special to me and I hope to uh, see you at the end when we're finished with the build it's gonna turn out great I think all right continue stay tuned